fixing the Asian board. Wait, wait, what? Hmm. I got a text. It's from the Chinese government. Eh, whatever. Anyway, right, let's get started. Russia over here. Now, on a separate, unrelated note, Mongolia is pretty small in the grand scheme of things. Now, let's revive the Mongol Empire. China has a region called Inner Mongolia inside of it. So, I mean, we should unite Inner Mongolia with regular Mongolia, right? Only makes sense. So now all the Mongol peoples are united. Mongolia is happy, right? No. They still don't have access to the sea. And, well, I mean, they don't want to antagonize China too much since, you know, you know, they're right there. So, let's just give them a little bit from Russia. Just, you know, just a little bit, you know? You know, just make sure there's a strong Mongolian state, you know? Actually, we could split off Xinjiang and Tibet from China. That's like Tibet, right? And make them be their own countries. Because let's be real, they're pretty different from China. It's, it makes sense that they would... You know. We need to nerf China a little bit. Look how big China is right here. Dude, they need to nerf pretty badly. There we go, we have split off China's problem regions. Now what about um, the elephant in the room over here? Let's be real here. Taiwan is not a part of China. But they are part of the DRDROC DRCROC. Which is a union I created between them and uh, A bunch of other nations. Watch Fixing the America's Borders. You'll find it out. Tibet and Xinjiang can ally themselves to the new Chinese government over here. Now, what about Manchu Kuo? It was basically Manchuria up here. And it used to be owned by Japan. So making a nice yellow and there we go Manchu Kuo oh that rhymes I like that and what about this island here uh, it can go to Japan now one of the questions of all time should we reunify Korea I don't think so. I think Korea is perfectly fine divided like this. In fact, I don't think so. I do think Korea has some issues divided like this. But I don't think reunification is the answer. Take a look at this population map. And you can see most of the people are living in the west side of Korea. More towards China. So, Southwest Korea, Northeast Korea, Southeast Korea, and Northwest Korea. Doesn't this just look glorious? I think we've made the perfect solution for Korea that will. <laughs> what am I talking about? It looks like an Uno game. <laughs> Well, now Russia's split in two by the new Mongol Empire. Russia is disconnected from the rest of this territory here. So I kind of felt bad in the U.S. States video given the Alaskan Panhandle to Canada, even though it just makes sense to have Canada own this. I still felt kind of bad. And as a proud American myself, I'm going to make up for it by giving quite a bit of this Eastern Alaska 
to the United States. Welcome, New Alaska, to the Union. I almost kind of want to split Kamchatka right here. It's like um, Delaware is. We're going to give this bottom part here to Japan. The middle bit can be its own country. And then the rest of this part will stay in Exclave of Russia. Because, you know, we got rid of their tiny little Kaliningrad Exclave in a Europe video, so we gotta repay them somehow and make another little Exclave for them to have to worry about. Oh, and you know since there's Southwest Korea, you know Southwest Airlines is gonna add a new route to Southwest Korea. I believe this right here is Hong Kong. I believe that is Macau. Probably right here and right here. We're gonna extend both of them and unite them. Hold on, what other Chinese regions are there? Yuna. Let's give independence to Yuna. Do we seriously really need laps? Literally everyone around them would have something to gain. Should we just get rid of Laos? I think we should just get rid of Loud. Also, I think Thailand should gain this panhandle that Myanmar has. What I don't really like about Malaysia is that it's split into two parts. Here and here. Like, think about the actual people living in Malaysia. They would have to take a ferry just to get to another part of their own country. But what's that? It's a merchant ship coming by! The Dutch have actually come to Malaysia to teach them the skill of land reclamation. And the Malaysians will finally be able to drive between the two parts of their country. Aww. Let's just make Singapore a little bit bigger since, you know, we've given Malaysia quite a bit extra land. Now this island here is interesting because this is Timur. Wait, why does their highway say yes? Haha, <laughs> you know what? I just came up with a funny thing for this. You know that saying, my way or the highway? Well, if East Timur's main highway says yes, this will become known as Yes Land. We have yes land, but how about no land? Yes. No. East Timor. Okay, let's head on over to South Asia here, where obviously we have, um, have a bit of a problem up here. Yeah, this is pretty much what Kashmir looks like. Just, uh... Crazy mess of claims right here. So obviously, India would like to take back this Pakistani part and the Chinese part. Pakistan would like to take back these parts. China wants to. Get. It's 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 really weird. But I think I have a better solution. So you see, China borders Kashmir, Pakistan borders Kashmir, India borders Kashmir. There's one nation that doesn't have any claims in Kashmir that borders it. The very safe Kashmir region will be administered by the very trustworthy nation that already borders Kashmir of Afghanistan. I'm sure this will not cause any problems whatsoever. Hope you enjoy your brand new Taliban rule. If you take a look at India here, it, why is it that they have this very poorly connected eastern part? Like, take a look at this. Like, why do they have this? Look, it's like... Not that much. It's like all white, bro. I'm sure it wouldn't be a massive loss to India to lose it. Now, the Indians might be mad about losing both Kashmir and Bangladesh, but 
I'll make it up to them. They can first of all directly take Sri Lanka because no one really cares. But you know their old rival Pakistan? Well, um... We're gonna expand India into Pakistan just a little bit. Oh my god! This is all yours, my friends. So you know what? Screw what I said. Screw the Himalayan states. Most of Nepal to India. Give you a little bit of Bhutan here. Give most of Bhutan to Bangladesh. And then it's back a bit. Half of Tibet, too. Tibet, you should just be grateful for being independent. Tibet. Oh, also, let's just hook them to Sri Lanka already. Like, bro, just just do it already. We know it can be done. The Dutch have been here. All right, now all we really have left is Central Asia here, which, by the way, even if you include the Middle East, Central Asia isn't really central in Asia, is it, right? That would be like somewhere in China here, right? In fact, I think there's only one thing we can do. Moving Central Asia into the literal center of Asia! Yes, I have literally duplicated Central Asia's borders right on top of the new Mongol Empire so we can put them in the actual center. As for the rest of this... Well, first of all, we definitely don't need these borders anymore. We could give a bit to Russia, I guess. But we can definitely give Xinjiang some. Look up this horribly connected exclave here. Dude, we still have so much land we can give out. I don't know what I want to do with this. We could we could extend Afghanistan, I guess. I want to keep roughly the same borders, though. I've looked up Central Asian independence movements. Now's your time. Um, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. You can gain independence because. Uzbekistan is literally not there. Is that pretty much it? That is probably the longest name I've ever seen. You know what? I might even expand these little guys all the way over to Russia because, you know, we got so much land here to give out. There you go. Whatever you are, you're independent. Germans? What the heck? Where are Germans living? Well, um, Germany hasn't had colonies since World War One, but, um, if there are Germans living there... Now, given what we have left, I think there's only one thing we can do to the rest of this land. Oh, also, you know the expression, dug a hole to China? I almost forgot to include this, like I was literally about to stop recording, but like, how can I not include a literal hole to China? Well, that's gonna be it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Next up is Oceania, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that one. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, all that stuff. See you in the next video. Bye.